Michael Steven, you saw what happened. What did you see? I didn't see what happened, but I saw the end result. What was the end, end result? Uh, there was a call from the inside of Potters. And it looks like it's Gavin Cronier in the Lamborghini. Yeah, I think so. And, but you guys were going, there were some seriously quick times that were, there was a proper shootout for pole. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get a chance to, to do a lap. Um, our first lap, uh, we got traffic in the complex, so we had to back right off. So second lap, we were on it and I got a red flag into the final corner. So, But yeah, we we up front there for the four hours, so we're happy with that. And uh, it's a long race tomorrow, so it's not all about qualifying. Great, park the car now and move on. Correct. Awesome stuff. Right, a couple of other things that have happened. Okay. Charles Orangi's a t- proper shootout at the front of the, the grid here. Yeah, we were just getting up to speed. Um, you know, the, the, my pit wall was giving me time. So me and, me and Michael seem to have been on 20s and Gavin already on 18s, you know. So he must have definitely gone for it at the start. And uh, by, by the looks of it, by the time marks I saw, I think he, uh, he might have gone a bit wide through Potters and uh, the, what's it, the left rear let go. And um, yeah, I, it, it, but it doesn't look good. It's never, ever lacquer to see a car like this. Never, ever. But we thought that we'd show you what it really is, what it looks like, and why people say motor racing is dangerous. And its results, this, it's times like these that you need to wear, you know, safety, is, safety equipment is paramount and to really... Get it, be able to get out of a car safely. Never Just to give you a bit of an update, Gavin is okay. He's out of the car. He was standing up.